Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are um, looking at finding perimeter and area of this composite figure. Uh, basically a figure that is not necessarily um, uh, something that you can do one formula with. It's usually a combination of different figures or something to that effect. So this is, this is CPM course three and this is section 9.2.4. Okay? So uh, number nine dash 112. So it says find the perimeter and area of the figure to the right. So first of all, uh, let's let's do area of this thing. Well, actually, let's do perimeter. We'll eat either one. So perimeter, remember, is adding all the sides. So it's I know for sure I can say that the perimeter so far, I've, I've got almost all of it listed, right? It's going to be that six plus the eight plus the ten plus the five. But now I've got to figure out what that side is. So interesting is this right here, right, is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. If I were to keep drawing this triangle that they've kind of given you a hint there and draw that triangle, we have the hypotenuse of a triangle. So I need to be able to find that number. So what, what we need in order to find the hypotenuse is the legs, right, because we know that if I'm naming my legs, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Or you can say the leg one squared plus leg two squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, right? Hypotenuse, the e there. So what, is, what are those legs? If this is five, but all of this over here is eight, I mean, that means the, the remainder, that would be 3, right? 3 plus 5 is 8. All of this over here is 10, but this little piece is 6. So the remainder over here, that other part would be 4, because 6 plus 4 is 10, right? So this triangle is has a, a leg of 3, a leg of 4. So to figure out that piece, remember it's leg squared plus leg squared. So 3 squared plus 4 squared, a squared plus b squared equals my c squared. So let's keep keep working that. So that's 9 plus 16 equals C squared. So C squared is equal to 25. So what is that C then? What times what is, right? If that's the, the square of the side, what number times itself? Well, that would be 5. So I know I'm going to, at the end of my string here, add 5 because that's what that is. So there's, there's my perimeter. So my perimeter for this problem My perimeter is going to be 6 plus 8 plus 10. That's 24 plus 10, 34. So I got my perimeter to be 34 meters. Okay. So my area now, area, I need to figure out. A couple ways to do this. But what I see, since I've already got my triangle here, my area is going to be the large rectangle, right? This whole rectangle minus, so if I were able to, eliminate that piece, then I have eliminate that corner. So my area, my total area is going to be the area. I'm going to show our process here. Area of the rectangle minus the area of that triangle, right? So area of the rectangle is base times width or base times height or length times width. So that's eight times 10. So we know that that's going to be 80, right? And I'm going to subtract from that the area of the triangle. And remember, area of triangle, just so we remember, area of triangle, of any triangle, is your base times your height divided by 2, or 1 half base height. So if I multiply my base and height, they're always the, the side lengths that match up to be at a 90. So it's 4 times 3 divided by two. So that's the math there for that triangle. So four times three is 12 divided by two is six. So my area is going to be 80 minus six. So my final answer here would be area would be 74. And we're dealing with meters and area is always square units. So squared meters. Okay. All right, folks, there you go.